Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Sheridan. Um, last time we got it, went ahead and made it to this city, and then it, it's been a little bit since I was able to record because my controller broke, and it's hard to play this game without a controller. I was actually complaining of one of the buttons kind of sticking before, but I was able to kind of to get around it for the most part. And yeah, and then, and then I stopped being able to do that. But we're back now. We can go ahead and explorate the city and see what it is we can see. That hey, it's gotta be soggy. No? What, you don't remember? Soggy from Guinness Place. The village a few years back to go make some money. Oh, hey, you're right. Because this wasn't looking hard enough. You're back, so welcome home. Can't believe you forgot me, though. I've been here since you left. Maybe monsters are showing up at the lake we always to play at. Well, we just decided you got eaten by the monster. Glad you're not eaten, though. You should tell everyone later that you're back. Well, it definitely sounds like we'll be going to the lake in order to deal with a monster. Or befriend a monster. All dibs in this wooden chest. Grandpa's been eating a junk. It's Grandpa's junk, though. Busy, busy, busy! I'm gonna give her a nice long bunny catnip. The hell's a bunny catnip? Dad's, Dad's the only. Okay, that's obviously not Grandpa then. The only doctor in the village, so everyone comes to us. He never charges for checkups. One reason everyone loves him so much, though. I thought we're close to it. We're still emergency only. Paul Swad. Mary, the son of a doctor. You'd be loaded, you know. If you're just the son of a doctor, way out in the boonies. I take the luxury. It's nice to be away for the hustle and bustle of the city. Back to the lake in one piece. I believe in the Empire. I, I, I love this village. I always want to try living somewhere else. Town somewhere that's just right for me. Okay, that was Doc. It's a little bit hard to tell with these, like, characters. Such a wonderful man. Or every day for a check, I just excuse to see him. So, I don't it, see him fit as a fiddle. Small, perhaps the part of the nearby kiln. I don't know how to pronounce kiln. They should must work wonders. I don't know if I had the expertise to make that conclusion. How would I know that ventilation is important for sick people? The answer is I wouldn't. I love when I ask a question and I answer it before I give you the chance. I hope so, you do a lot. <laughs> I love this village. Kids are so full of life. There's plenty of folks who spend their whole lives right here and never think of leaving. Guys, the hoodwink, yeah, everyone works together. It's a great place to rest your bones. Grown up now. My own age. <laughs> Sage, <laughs> you came back. You go off to without so much of a word. I was worried you become beast chow. All in one piece. But you had your fill of lectures. All right, run along. Man, I left without even saying a word. That's odd, because the kids know I went out to get my fortune. Show. I'm right to all these people that know me, and I have not introduced um, our friend, the new Zelha, at all. Or is this my mom, Dad? Ah, my boys are done. Thank this does for bringing my son back to me. No, 
I'm not your son. How was you, Sagi? Oh wow, I'm glad to see you well. I was like, wow, if, I hope I let my parents know that I was leaving. I'd be like the worst person ever. What's up to? Want it off, I worry about you, bro. <laughs> At least they acknowledge that wings exist. This great bread with thornflower nectar baked. It's just amazing. Let me guess. I'm here already. I can suffer as fast as I can. You'll have to be patient. Oh man, it's been a while. So, when did you get back? Have you been eating properly? Stick around for a while for running off again, won't you? Bring everyone over later, and I'll treat y'all to a big meal. Also, none of that man business. I'm so gorgeous, and I'm in my twenties. Sex in the corner, each flower made from ground up grain. I am curious. Will they still have again? Not see Gena yet? A <laughs> woman in, in her 20s. I love that. That's amazing. Wrong face, but I can tell she misses you terribly. So I'm outside with a basket of laundry. You got to show her how well you're doing. Okay, now. Talking to her again as a cousin saying, ma'am. Laid out here. Even though you don't get a lot from them, I haven't seen anything I can draw into essence. I am glad for that little bit of um, characterization of this is what this is for, this is what this is for. Darker than it needs to be. Lamps of all shapes and sizes have been lined up at. Wait, no, that's not what this person's saying. I have flame already. Saga, you've returned. How nice to see you looking so well. The village has been much quieter since you left. Yourself, I'm happy to say, I think you'll be tearing up the neighborhood again. I mean, I'm, I've gotten a little older. I'm not going to be tearing up the neighborhood. Soggy, I haven't seen you in ages. Were you away somewhere? Yeah, but I've got my hands full getting ready for dinner. Why later you tell me all about your adventures, alright? Oh gods of ages past, please use your power to keep us villagers safe from harm. Speaking variants of water, I don't care about bridges, variants of plane. They are everywhere. Hey, isn't that? I don't know. It. Doesn't look like anyone I recognize. Don't just stare at the ground. Go, Go see Gina, Gina and let her know you're safe. Okay, that's Gina. Yeah. We probably should do that. What is it now, Teak? Are you hungry? This had better not be another ploy to see my wings. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I'm home. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, apparently we did leave our mom here, although, again, hopefully we at least told her we were leaving and didn't just disappear one day. If she was here earlier, how did she not notice us? We weren't exactly hidden. Or I guess we were in kind of a crowd of chickens. <gasps> Saki! Mom! Brought a girl to see you, although not that kind. I know they always talk about bringing girls to see your parents, but did not know. 
I'm home, Mom. I've, I've come, come back. back. For a little bit. Don't get her hopes up too much. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> Welcome home, Soggy. Okay, good. There wasn't a whole lot of drama built into that. Always a plus. I see. So, so you've been, been working, working in Alfard. Yeah, yeah, and, and they, they gave me all this money as a stipend. Here, look. Take, Take it. it. You, you could, could use, use the help, help right? Oh, well, I mean, if you're, not, if you're gonna be blatant like that. Thanks. I, I sure could. could. Okay, good. Wow, wait a minute. How many kids are in this place? Are they all yours? Or is this just like... Uh, they don't have a lot of villages. Hopefully this is a multifamily home. Otherwise, Gina, damn. After all, I've, I've got, got a house full of growing, growing menaces, menaces here. We're, We're strapped, strapped for just, just about everything. everything. All the little kids like shadow boxing at um, whatever the heck she is. So, who is the young lady? Yeah, I kind of figured that question would be coming up pretty darn quick. Oh, this is Millie. We met her on the way here. She's, She's traveling, traveling from Alfard. Nice to meet you, ma'am. I'm Milliard. I'm, I'm so, so sorry, sorry to impose on you like this. I really wish her nameplate would say Milliard the entire game and not Millie. Don't be silly. It's, it's no, no trouble. trouble. I'm, I'm delighted Soggy's brought such a lovely girl home with him. <laughs> She's, She's rotten, rotten on the inside. Gilo. Don't say that to her face. And seriously, all she's done so far is save our life. I don't know why you're so... I'm right here. Also... Okay, she... Gila stopped, but Gila like hung her head for a second and it looked super awkward. Oh, um... I saw you earlier in the square. Your wings of the heart are so pretty. No, you were watching? Yeah, and again, I kind of feel like she... Especially with freaking Gilo there, but I... I get it, you're not gonna keep 360 degree vigilance all the time. That Teak loves to see my wings. He stops crying on the spot. Soggy was the same way when he was little. Her wings have pseudo-magical powers. Mom, don't tell her any weird stories. Don't do them if you don't want them told. <laughs> all right, mister. I guess, I guess I'll, I'll go, go get, get supper, supper ready, then. Make yourself at home, Milliard. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Letting the kids win, it looks like. So, what do we do now? Well, well, I thought I we could relax here for a little while. It's, it's my, my first trip home in ages. Why rush to get everything planned out? I mean, you probably need a plan, but yeah, we can still stay here for the time being. Hey, Millie, you, you still haven't had a chance to look around the village, right? It's around decently, but we haven't made it everywhere yet. Come on, I'll give you the grand tour. Look, the letters have been scrawled in crayons. Grab a paper. Doggy Shrik Wan Yar Mf. Wow, thanks for writing out a Magnum Express being crowned. I can't read. Smash! Smash! I'm the late monster. I'll start running, I'll bite your head off. Then a lot of magnum interest fees. Oh, but right. that's not a person, that's a I have not figured out how to actually get those yet. Got them, like, I think my third is like, oh, trade this in the shop. I've never seen a bit to do that. Get on bed. Well, some we don't have as much choice, but to double up. What's ya? Why'd you have my hat? Give it back. I just wonder, this seems a very quaint village. Why is there an orphanage this busy? Like, you shouldn't have that many parents. 
<laughs> you started it. Mikey's a cake, you big jerk. And I'm like, hat, give it back, please. Yeah, I just tried. All you ever do is try. And eat other people's food. And all the time, you haven't grown up one bit. You gotta learn a lot of little things get to you. But she ate my piece of cake. And Gina made it for all of us. How do you ever get to eat cake? I hate tick. I'm gonna make a stupid hat. Lost from mages and the old man of the village using Nanda. Oh, I didn't see that person. I just saw like movement. I thought there was like a dog in the corner or something. I watch her and tick. Fine, this happens all the time. I make up soon on their own. They will, but watch her loves tick to bits. Tick loves watch her right back. Those so you are, and what you have to fight about. I haven't seen the house. Running around. Where have I seen it? Going. of countless children. This game is just so wholesome and interesting. Pat, she didn't learn here. Found the lost and found at the elder's house. Well, it's definitely not in the lost and found because it was hidden. So that may be a hint, and so I still need to check, even though I know there's nothing there. Next to the well. The one, the one the well's next to. Total lack of action. Virtue. I've been flying around with some monsters appeared in the South Lake. I went down there, haven't returned yet, so maybe there really is a monster. Hello, boy. I fit up with a nice Magnus packing. Obviously that was an innuendo, but she doesn't have anything to trade. Oh, where will well, take this hat is? I understand how Waco felt. We need to make stuff like that go. resetting. Soggy, what's this building? It's all falling apart. It's a ruined clock tower from a long time ago. Everybody here calls it the Briar Clock. The story goes that it was built back in the age of the gods. I wonder how long ago that was and how plausible that is. It's barely holding together. I guess you can't go in. No, too many thorns. But the kids dare each other to climb it all the time. You know, to see who's braver. That's me. You used to climb it too. 
You know, you only got unearthed a little bit ago. It was like a ritual. You'd, You'd go, go up all by yourself. Not even sunset would bring you down. Gina used to get so worried. So, obviously, the fact that Gina's taking care of me means I was an orphan. But again, I wonder why this village has so many orphans. No kidding! I guess you're braver than I gave you credit for. At least when he was a kid. Had less uh, to lose. It wasn't bravery. It's just... Climbing the briar clock helps me unwind. You should try it, Winch. A good climb might bring out your demure side. If you have one. I still don't understand why Gilo is so mad at Millicent. I'll pass, thanks. I wouldn't want the thorns to tear my clothes. That'd be okay. Craven. Who is? <laughs> Cut it out, you two. <laughs> okay, wow, Millicent is not the most mature person I've ever run into. Here, world. Over there after dark, you love to hear the stars. Uh, all of us be on here. Uh, of course, now that monsters. house, although I wouldn't even call that the closest to the well. I'd act for my niece, you tell me I'm easy for him. How's that? I don't remember anyone trying one of those in recently. Oh. Or of help. Of more help. Yourself for the lake of come back. Empire, so you was going to look for that. Okay, that's the next quest, but I have to find the hat first. Okay, I look with curiosity about Grey Thorns. Powerful Adjuration experience strange new feelings towards Grey. And adapt to such a wide variety of cities and climes. Oh, god dang it. I don't care. <laughs> Back towards the entrance of the village. Oh, so my dear sweet Mary. That one? I know nothing. I have no idea what weapon could possibly be. Obviously, you know. Or they had other trip. They had probably in there. Okay, did like this one later. 
Uh, I'm not finding this stupid app. <laughs> Thank ya. As young as I'm many a wonder, wonder while traveling from continent to continent. These terrible monsters unearthed exotic plant life. Good experience for me. I'm convinced my studying these life forms will one day be useful in developing new medicines. I around this field guide. I now my everything I saw during my journeys. I asked for it, but I asked my son, but I can't find it anywhere. I'm old for adventures now. I found the book. My son left it like three days ago and hasn't returned yet. Well, I said it looks just like my old one. Don't lose space as you go along. It's a fair bit. Come back to the house, I'll reward you accordingly. Okay. Yep, that's the same conversation. So, definitely all the kids know something. Nothing in here about the hats. The hats are very unlikely to be in this house. Good treasure place. Last couple of people. It's my bro from the Thornwood. I find a rock. And thanks for you, I managed to get back to build it safely. Black Kaplan around. That's one of my clock. One of my clock around mine somewhere. Captain Herbert requires outstanding eyesight. Far away, Eli can put a beat on any sweet lass in town. Talk to that person from here, at least. Around? I don't know anything. Oh, no, 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 oh, the hat isn't right behind me. The password. Oh, wait. Hey, I'm not falling for that again. Yeah, I'll give you a teensy hint. Don't tell anyone I was giving out hints, okay? Alright, you better get the close. It's a red and round and really juicy fruit. Well, that's obviously an apple. <laughs> I have a rotting apple. Recent, recent past. I've got this mount, rotting mountain apple. Oh, okay. I thought, is there another screen of the village? If I go south from here, so it kind of looked like that was open. Yeah, so I don't want to wander out of the village. Okay, so that's how you leave the village, but there's nowhere to go yet. Oh, there we go. Apple before? Take one if you like. All right ahead, we're close today, so this one's free. Definitely won't need the rotting apple now. <laughs> Ooh, 
to try to give him the rotting one. It's around, it's, over, it's literally across from me, man. Among mountain apples. You're amazing. Then why take you so long to find it? Yeah, let's take a look. Alright, we'll go turn this in. That was a very, very difficult game of sleuthing, but I, I solved it. I was able to get to the bottom of it. Arctic, just having this muddy hat everywhere. There's a lot of kids in this village, and it's weird. A special cake or no deal. Is that what I think it is? Daggy, thank you. Hands are bleeding. Are those scratches for the Brian? You did all that for me? Aww. I know you must have been looking forward to eating Jenna's cake. Of Jim's famous thornflower nectar cookies. I want to eat your piece of cake again. Right, Teak? This. My god, they just do such a deeper and. Before you can count to 50. Soggy, how long are you going to lie there? Your lady friend is already up and waiting. <laughs> uh, I'm up! Oh, how many beds did we take? I mean, at most two, because I'm sure Gilo didn't need a bed. Sorry to keep you. Aw, did Soggy Woggy have a good sleep? <sighs> It was a very trepidatious and weird sleep. This guy was jumping up and down the whole time. Alright. And with that, we'll go ahead and go save. Thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. I will see you all in the next one.